two questions for you. First of all, how what's up with the two part questions, <laughs> man? What is it? I, 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 this, these will be easy. Okay. Easy. How does it feel to have coached in your first game and, and then also have won your first game? Fantastic. It's so it's hard to win a college football game. It feels great. It's awesome. And have you ever seen a receiving performance like that in your life? Um, not like that. Similar. I think we had one close to that with Brandon Cooks at Oregon State, but T Max is obviously special, man. It's just. Something else. What stood out to you about his performance? The yards after catch. You know, that, that, that was like those big explosives were just incredible. Outrun, outran the whole secondary on the one, big one down the sideline. Um, he's awesome. He's an awesome competitor, and he's also not satisfied. He's like, you know, we can play better. So, well, Jason, what you, what you hope for? Uh, the defense seemed to settle in a little bit more in the second half. What do you just attribute the, the overall performance? I think the the hardest thing to do during training camp is to like play live football and, and to tackle live because you're just you're just concerned about losing a good player in that and not getting them to the game you know um, and I think that part of it is is a hard part of it I thought they settled down really nicely in the second half forced a couple turnovers um, the uh, I thought the you know in the first the quarterback's a good player Right, he's super athletic, he's strong, he can throw it on the run. And so that, that's gonna be a handful for anyone to contend with, you know? And I thought, that, I thought they did a good, I thought he did a good job. I thought New Mexico played well. Justin and Brian. Uh, what were some of the things that you addressed to your team at halftime? At halftime, I thought, the biggest thing I talked to them was like, like, just like stop worrying about the outcome and, and worry about right now. Like, like, stop, like stop looking at the scoreboard, just play football. It's like we, we had a game tonight, you know, like, like it's, it's, that, that's how it is. It's, it's, everyone's, everyone can play. Right? Some teams are better than others, some teams have better players than others, but everybody can play. Everybody lifts weights and everybody's got good coaching. And, and so I, th I thought they had a good plan. I thought they executed really well. And then I thought in the second half we made some good adjustments and the guys rallied and came together and, and played for each other and, and the result was good. Well, Brian and Jenna in the back. Uh, what led to uh, not running very much in the first half, and, and how much was there a concerted effort to try to have that balance in the second? We don't really think of terms in, in terms of balance. You know, like initially um, we weren't getting a ton of pressure. You know, and so we, you know, that that's when we were kind of able to make some of those throws where it was a little bit cleaner, and then we started getting heated up a little bit, and so um, you know that was. When we were kind of saying, okay, how do we get the ball out of our hand? We like ran a screen, some of that stuff. And so um, I think, uh, you know, as we settled down, we came back at halftime. We were like, okay, you know, we're trying to figure out what they're giving us in, in what situations so that we can get the run game going. So and it was awesome. I was excited about how those guys ran the ball and how we blocked it up front. Jenna and Jordan. What did you learn about your team tonight? That they're resilient and, and, you know, that it means so much to them, you know what I mean? And I think um, the, the other thing I learned is that, like, we need to eliminate the selfish penalties, right? Because that, that extended at least two, two drives, maybe three. And so, um, so we've got some learning to do. And, and I think that's good because this team wants to be good and they work their butts off so far. So they'll be serious about getting that fixed. Jordan and Troy in the front. Hey, Brad, um, what would year 2000 Arizona grad assistant Brent Brennan think about tonight? Shoot, I think he'd he think it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, it was awesome. I thought our fans were great. The Zona Zoo was rocking. They, you know, they stayed for almost the whole game. Um, that, would, that was just great, you know. I, I, I've said it ad nauseum, but I think that's the, um, you know, we need the city of Tucson to, to, to rally for this team. So that we can make that we can counter the home field advantages that we're going to play when we get into the Big 12, and so we really, really, really need that. And so I think because you look at those games on TV, they're all selling out, you know. And so we we got we got to present that same front here in Arizona Stadium. So it's, it's so it's hard on our opponents. Troy, right here, then Jason in the corner. Um, Matthew Lado, Lado had to come in after Rhino went down there. How did you think he played tonight, and and just the snaps that he was able to get there? That's hard to say. Like, you know, I'm, I got to look at the tape on that one. That's that's hard. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, he still moved the ball well when he, when he was in there, and um, that was pretty cool. You know, I mean, when I 
when I first got there, he was one of the young men that had just got or got here. He was one of the young men that had been gotten arrived like five days earlier. You know what I mean? Um, so it's awesome to see you know his development and his process. And I think uh, Big Josh is doing a great job coaching him. And then with Big Jonah going over to left tackle, having a guy like that that you can move around the offensive line, how much does that help an offense and you guys as a coaching staff? Oh, it's awesome. You know, I, like Big Jonah has a just an extremely high care factor. He's also really, really talented. And the flexibility that he has is going to help our football team tremendously this year, and it's also going to help him when, you know, when he moves on to the next level. Jameson in the corner, is there a way to utilize Ray Sean Bruce talents a little bit more? It seems like he's explosive, but it's hard to get him the ball. Yeah, it's, you know, I think it's hard because, um, you know, we're trying to distribute the ball a little bit, and um, and those other backs are good players too. You know what I mean? So it's, you know, that part of it. But I, I definitely think we can, and that's already been a discussion of just trying to find a way that we can be creative with what his skill set is. Um, he's an awesome kid. He's an incredibly hard worker, and he, and he is explosive with, with the ball in his hands. He's using the slide as a returner. Well, he's our kickoff returner, I think. Oh no, he's our backup kickoff returner, I think. So he's in the mix there a little bit, you know. But I think also if you saw, you know, um, JP looks like he might be, a, you know, pretty good kick returner also. He had, you know, he had one that he brought out to the 40 and one that looked like it almost got out too. So, um, but we love Speedy Luke, and you know, we're we're trying to find uh, the best way to get the ball in the hands of all those playmakers because you know we also have, you know, I thought Quali ran the ball fantastic tonight, and we have Jacory and, and we have Kedrick, you know, so. Where everybody wants the football. Justin and Brian, uh, wearing a, a lay, you also wear that at Big 12 Media Days. Is that like a signature look that you're going to be rolling out here moving forward? This is a signature look when Noah Fafita's grandmother gives you one and Tetaroa McMillan's mother gives you the other. So. Can't turn it down. Yeah. It was cool. It's an incredible gesture by them, and they like it, you know. We don't lean into everybody's culture on the team. That's what makes us unique, makes us special. Brian and then gentleman in the back row here. Yeah, with, with, with New Mexico not doubling T-Mac, it made sense to, to go with him as often as you did, but he had about half the, the targets. And how important is it to, that you make sure that there is that second or third option that is viable so that if you do have someone that's going heavy on him? Well, yeah, I, you know, being an offensive guy my whole career, when you have one of those, eventually people are going to find ways to push coverage to him and make it hard and, and so like those other guys need to step up i thought Kean burnett made a really nice play in the first half on a on a, on a flag route um you know i think that tight end position can really help us there and then I, then i also think there's a lot there for montana you know and the rest of that receiving core montana jeremiah um you know malachi i, I think there's, there's there's a lot there chris hunter made a nice catch on the sideline on a switch smash concept so i i think there's still a lot there it's just when that, if they're going to single him like that, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to, the ball's going to find its way there. John, the black hole in the back. Coach, for your team to stay that resilient and see no better after a back and forth. Say that again, sorry. For your team to stay that resilient and fight back after a back and forth first half, how great did that, did that make you feel in that first half? Oh, it's awesome. I think it's a good lesson for us. You know what I mean? It's like everybody can play. And I, and I think, like, it's critical that going into every game you respect your opponent, and um, you know the, these guys played their tails off last week, and they did again this week. You know, like that coaching staff and those kids on that team, they obviously they got something going. Like they're owing too, but they're gonna be they're gonna be fine. You know, and so um, I was excited about how we rallied in the second half and how we put we finally played like good team football, right? Where we get a stop and then we score a touchdown and we you know then we kick it off and then we get a stop and force a punt like that like that's. That's what we need to, the rhythm we're trying to find is where we're complementing each other as we play. Last question to Jason. Uh, I know you've kind of talked about it before, but the confidence in Tyler Lee to allow him to take a 54 yard field goal, just what does he bring to this team and your ability to kind of. He's such a big time player. Like when you can put a guy out there and he can hit from 50 to 60, uh, not to mention all the kickoffs, like you touched them all back and they were like more than touchbacks, right? Like. He's just such a confident, powerful kid. He's a great kid, and uh, I'm really happy for him. He had a great night. All right.